Each is racing to survive the day. Each is running to live to the next. Each is battling the other to carry on. And all must run the race of life. Reptiles colonized every continent on Earth. As the prehistoric land masses drifted across the planet, reptiles adapted until they became the greatest creatures that have ever walked the Earth. The dinosaurs. These giants ruled the Earth for over 160 million years. Then they suddenly disappeared, possibly wiped out by a giant meteor. But smaller reptiles survived. They have colonized every continent except Antarctica. From the murky waters of rivers and oceans, to the rocks and crevices of sun-baked deserts. They stalk their prey in silence through dark jungles. In many places they are kings of their domain. They are cold-blooded and hot-headed. Reptiles are the armor-plated battlers of the animal kingdom. One of the most charismatic reptiles has over 5,000 different species. Many live in grasses and woodlands. But most live where it's sunny, hot and dry. Lizards. These diverse creatures can be two and a half meter dragons or tiny two centimeter geckos. Some lizards are covered in horns and defend themselves by squirting blood from their eyes. Others live on red earth and have blue tongues. And a few have deadly toxic bites. But the strangest collection of lizards lives on one of the driest continents on earth. A place with giant flightless birds and jumping herbivores. Australia, the thorny devil. He collects dew on his skin and channels it to his mouth. He might look terrifying, but he's only 20 centimeters long. Getting a good meal out here can be tough, unless you eat an animal that lives here by the millions. This devil can eat up to 45 ants per minute and in one meal he can gobble up over 2,000. The devil's time is mostly spent waiting. The ants walk by. He eats. For the ants, it is an ambush. Thousands of ants will be eaten, but back in the nest there are tens of thousands of eggs. Individuals will die, but the colony will survive. One of the largest living lizards on Earth lurks in the Australian outback. The Parenti, a giant monitor lizard. Her domain stretches across the vast dunes and plains of the desert interior. Her bite is venomous and her forked tongue can taste the smell of her prey. She's nearly two and a half meters long, with a slender neck and powerful claws. She can climb trees and rip open termite nests. First, a little pre-dinner refreshment. Water is in high demand out here. After a deep drink, the Parenti is ready for the hunt. A king brown snake one of the most venomous snakes in the world and one of the longest at nearly two and a half meters. The Parenti spots the snake. She approaches carefully. The king brown snake's venom is lethal even to large animals. The Parenti must seize the snake from behind the head to avoid being bitten. 
She's completely focused on the task ahead. The Parenti and the brown snake are evenly matched. This is a fight to the death. The Parenti has a strong bite and backwards curving teeth. But the snake fights hard, using her great length to create powerful thrusting movements. The Parenti is exhausted. She didn't come away with a meal this time. The coolest box of tricks in the lizard world is most commonly found in Africa. They come in a variety of bright colours. Chameleons. They broke away from other lizards over 60 million years ago. While most conventional lizards have evolved to live where it's hot and dry, most chameleons have moved away from the deserts. They live in a very different part of the world. Deep in the jungle, if you look very carefully, you'll spot a chameleon. A predator has spotted him too. Like all of his kind, he can roll his eyes independently and his colours are exhilarating. Chameleons can change their colour using crystals under their skin. When it's calm, the crystals are packed together, reflecting blue and green light. But when it's alarmed, the crystals are stretched apart, turning the skin to yellow, orange and finally red. Despite their comical appearance, chameleons will fight for their territory. This Namaqua chameleon is stalking his next meal. Chameleons move slowly, but their tongues do not. This incredible tongue is like a special superpower. It's the secret to the chameleon's feeding success. A grasshopper is happily grazing on a protea. A Cape Dwarf Chameleon is also up for a spot of grazing. The Grasshopper is completely unaware. The Chameleon unleashes his weapon. The Grasshopper had no chance. The Chameleon's tongue works like a catapult, shooting out at speeds over 400 meters per second squared. Further up the African continent, in the jungles of Botswana, lives the flat-necked chameleon. He's looking for a meal. He's invoking the other chameleon superpower, independently moving his eyes. He can focus each eye separately. Chameleons are supremely adapted for climbing trees with opposing groups of toes and a tail to end all tails. It looks like a coiled spring, but it acts more like a fifth leg, uncurling to hang on to branches. The chameleon is an eccentric among lizards, but he has developed his entire body to be the ultimate climber, stalker and trapper. And for that, he is a superhero in the reptile world. I'm Simon Keyes. I'm not your average pest control. Little bugger. I liken my job more to a bomb expert. <laughs> Cut the wrong wire. <laughs> Boom. Quick. Same thing with my line of work. If I forget my gloves, right or drop my stick. <laughs> Piss off the wrong one of these guys. On the wrong day. Boom. Well, not boom. You're a toxic venom. More like lights out. I've got it. I love it. Brand new season, Snakes in the City. Next on Nat Geo Wild.
This May, plan a trip of extremes with Nat Geo Wild. Time is running out as scientists go on a quest to save Earth's disappearing biodiversity. Brand new season, 1,000 Days for the Planet. From the harshest to the lushest, we've got Earth's second smallest continent covered. All new series, Europe's Great Wilderness. Plunge right into the epic showdown of the most fearsome creatures, Extreme Brute Force. Embark on a trip of extremes this May on Nat Geo Wild. Dark and murky. Strange creatures rule in a territory so complicated. It's beyond your wildest imagination. What you see is only part of the story. River Jaws, tonight at 9.35 on Nat Geo Wild. It's time for a sweet escape. Hop on a floating island and hunt for Fabergé eggs and caged apples. Or climb to the top of the Macaron Tower and immerse yourself in a sea of soufflés and meringue clouds. To be honest, I think you should skip starter on main course. Let Master Patissier Eric Lenlard pamper you with a royal treatment. Wonderful. Brand new series, Glamour Puts, tomorrow night at 9.20 on Nat Geo People. A reel that's work is never done. Dr. Michelle Oakley is back. Get your game face on. Helping creatures great and greater in her wildest cases yet. There's not too many times that I get a bit of a shake going. Well, you're a wild girl. I think I need to go change my drawers. The Yukon is tough. Go, 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 go! Get out of the way. She's tougher. Brand new season, Dr. Oakley, Yukon Vet. Tomorrow night at 7.45 on Nat Geo Wild. The grace of nature comes in all shapes and sizes. From the deepest... Oh, no, no, no! ...to the comfort of your own... Oh, 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 dear! Oh, dear! Oh, that's not good. Catch a glimpse of the less refined side of the animal kingdom. Brand new season, Animals Gone Wild. Wednesday nights at 8.40 on Nat Geo Wild. The king of all reptiles lives in Africa, the Americas, Australia, and Asia. He has no natural enemies. He is the ultimate apex predator, the crocodile. Crocodiles are the largest dinosaur left alive. They can grow to seven meters and can live for 75 years or more. On average, three or four people are attacked by saltwater crocs in Australia per year. The locals call them salties to distinguish from their smaller freshwater cousins. The freshies are mostly harmless to humans. The salties are not. Saltwater crocs live in the rivers and wetlands of tropical Australia and Southeast Asia. They also live in the ocean and on the beaches. Crocs usually attack from underwater. They spot their prey on the surface and then descend. The other giant crocodile lives across the Indian Ocean. Africa, home of giant herbivores, great long rivers and the Nile crocodile. This full-grown male is about to take part in the annual African feast when migrating wildebeest have to cross the Mara River. It prepares for the ambush. The wildebeest are on alert. The croc strikes. The crocodile's bite is the strongest ever measured. At about 16,000 newtons, he bites down with around 20 times the force of a human eating a steak. A classic crocodile death roll helps it tear off pieces of meat. The mighty monster of the Mara River feasts on the wildebeest. It can now manage for more than six months before it needs another meal. 
and by then the wildebeest will be returning. Over a hundred million years ago, a group of reptiles took a crazy backward step. They developed elongated bodies and got rid of their legs, and it worked. They don't run, but slither. Snakes. Their bodies are so thin, most of them have room for only one working lung. A quarter of snake species are venomous. The venom is used for defense as well as catching prey. Some have a warning system to tell predators to back off. Non-venomous snakes kill their prey by constriction. Most snakes rely on ambush to catch their prey and use their forked tongues to smell the air in three dimensions. Snakes prefer to stay hidden, for their own safety, and to surprise their prey. They need to be well camouflaged and fast moving. This diamond python is planning to surprise its prey from above. The brush turkey has no idea it's there. This is the most spectacular use of venom in the snake world. The spitting cobra directs its deadly jets into the eyes of its victims. Far from the land of cobras is a giant island of pythons, taipans and brown snakes. Australia. Inland taipans are among the most venomous snakes in the world. They live right across Australia, from the desert to the grasslands and the dry forest. This adult male can smell something in the distance something that could be tasty. He is hoping for a small mammal. He can see what he's been looking for. The snake makes straight for his target. A pair of desert rats. They're cornered. They will need to move very fast to escape. A second bite. The venom is doing its work, paralyzing the muscles of the unfortunate desert rat. Inland Taipan venom is extremely toxic and works fast. In a short time, the venom reaches the rat's diaphragm and the snake's victim is unable to breathe. The rat is nearly safe to eat. The inland taipan will now have a good rest to allow his meal to digest. Even extremely venomous snakes must fight every day to survive. These inland taipan eggs were laid in the spring. They need to develop where the earth is damp to provide extra moisture for the growing embryo. After eight weeks, the young snakes start to emerge. Taipans are born fully formed and armed with venom and can grow up to two and a half meters long. These little snakes might be venomous, but they are very vulnerable. Even after the taipans reach their full length, they could become a meal for something bigger. Like a King Brown snake. His venom can't help him this time. King Browns are immune to other snakes' venom. The young snake is fighting to stay alive against the odds. It's a highly toxic battle between the snakes. Our inland taipan has lost.
He is much easier to swallow than a bush rat, but it takes a long time. Muscles all down the snake's body are working to pull their meal into the stomach. After a long struggle, the king brown snake is able to relax and enjoy its meal. Australia is famous for more than its deserts. This is the home of the Great Barrier Reef, the perfect place for another large reptile. Turtles. For some of these gentle giants, entire species are threatened with extinction. They have survived on this planet for over 150 million years. Most marine turtles are also carnivorous. Their favorite food is often easy to catch. Jellyfish. These strange animals are mostly made up of water. So turtles need to eat a huge amount if they're going to gain any nutrition. The Great Barrier is a rich, biodiverse environment. Millions of plants and animals fight to survive here every day. This is a popular place for green sea turtles. A lone green turtle is looking for some good grazing. She is the only type of sea turtle that's a vegetarian. She likes to eat the algae and seaweed growing on the coral reef. She must keep an eye out for sharks, but her main enemy today is humans. She's found a good eating spot. By eating away the plant material, she lets in the sunlight, essential for coral to grow. As she travels, she grazes on the reef, and so the coral's growth is tied to the turtle's survival. Turtles return to the beach where they were born when it's time for them to lay their own eggs. It's been a long and tiring journey. Then the hardest part. Adult turtles are not well designed for moving around on land. This female green turtle is carrying about 150 eggs. She must find a safe place to lay them. When she's chosen the right spot, she will slowly dig a deep hole in the sand. This is hard work for the turtle. As she lays, a fresh layer of sand keeps her eggs cool and hidden. The eggshell is soft and leathery, so it's not damaged by the drop into the nest. Around 60 days later, the eggs are ready to hatch. Crawling to the sea, the turtle is aware of the many predators hoping to eat it. If they stay very still, they are hard to see against the sand. Many of his brothers and sisters are under attack. The turtle's race to survive is literally a sprint to the sea. Finally, he's in. But he must evade sharks and other underwater predators if he's to be one of the lucky few to survive. Reptiles were the dominant family of animals on Earth for tens of millions of years. The prehistoric giants may have died out, but they have left their mark. With the ancient turtles, the great variety of lizards, the killer instinct of the snakes, and the majesty of the crocodiles. These are the long-term survivors of the reptile world.
daily battle of predator and prey. Only the strong will prevail in this epic fight for survival. Brand new series, Race of Life, Thursday nights at 9.35 on Nat Geo Wild. I'm Simon Keyes. I'm not your average pest control. Little bugger. I liken my job more to a bomb okay. expert. Hey, hey, hey. Cut the wrong wire. <laughs> Boom. Yes, quick. Same thing with my line of work. If I forget my gloves, right or drop my stick. <laughs> Piss off the wrong one of these guys. On the wrong day. Boom. Well, not boom. You're a toxic venom. More like lights out. I've got it. I love it. Brand new season, Snakes in the City. Next on Nat Geo Wild. Dark and murky. Strange creatures rule. In a territory so complicated, it's beyond your wildest imagination. What you see is only part of the story. River Jaws, tonight at 9.35 on Nat Geo Wild. A real vet's work is never done. Dr. Michelle Oakley is back. Get your game face on. Helping creatures great and greater in her wildest cases yet. There's not too many times that I get a bit of a shake going. Oh, well, you're a wild girl. I think I need to go change my drawers. The Yukon is tough. Go, 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 go! Get out of the way. She's tougher. Brand new season, Dr. Oakley, Yukon Vet. Tomorrow night at 7.45 on Nat Geo Wild. The grace of nature comes in all shapes and sizes. From the deepest... Oh, no, no, no! To the comfort of your own... Oh, 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 dear! Oh, dear! Oh, that's not good. Catch a glimpse of the less refined side of the animal kingdom. Brand new season, Animals Gone Wild. Wednesday nights at 8.40 on Nat Geo Wild. Super bandel Indovision plus internet super cepat. Nikmati channel-channel TV dunia serta home internet wifi tanpa batasan waktu dan gangguan cuaca. Berlaku untuk Jakarta, Bandung, Surabaya, dan segera hadir di kota-kota besar lainnya. Nikmati pengalaman baru mengakses home internet wifi 20GB berteknologi 4G LTE dengan kecepatan hingga 150MB per second, hanya 220000 per bulan. Ayo berlangganan sekarang, Indovision bukan yang lain.